Hey guys, it's Ro. Today I'm hanging out with my dad, Papa Pizza. Hi guys, great to be here. Halloween is just around the corner. It's like 10 days away. I'm getting super excited. So I thought we would have to make a themed food today. And you know if Papa Pizza's here, then it's very likely that we are making a pizza this weekend. And we're gonna be making a pizza with three different kinds of cheeses. That's right. If you can't tell, but from our sweaters, we've got little candy corns. And dad says, I'm so corny. <laughs> I thought that was perfect for you because you tell a lot of like corny jokes. I do. Um, do you know what pants ghosts wear? What? Boo jeans. <laughs> so today we are going to be making a candy corn themed cheese pizza. You ready to get this show on the road? Let's get this show going. Yeah. The things you'll need to make this pizza dough will be two and a half cups of bread flour, one package of active dry yeast, one teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of sugar, two tablespoons of olive oil, one cup of water, about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And for the toppings, we'll use mild cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese, and sharp cheddar cheese, all of which will be finely shredded. Then to make the white pizza sauce, you'll need one cup of whole milk, one quarter cup of shredded Parmesan cheese, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, one quarter teaspoon of onion powder, one half teaspoon of garlic powder, and then salt and pepper to taste. The first thing we're gonna do is to make the dough. Mm-hmm. Pour in the warm water, active yeast, and sugar. Then whisk this together until it's dissolved. Now let your yeast mixture set for about 10 minutes till it becomes foamy. And while we're waiting, you should tell a funny joke. Okay. What do you got? Well, you know why zombies don't uh, eat pizza with their fingers? Why? They eat their fingers separately. <laughs> but um. Dad, I have a joke for you. I'm listening. Would you like to hear a pizza joke? Yes. Nah, it's too cheesy. Our yeast is ready, and this is what it should look like. Mm-hmm. Now you're gonna add half of your flour. Boop, 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 ba -doop. Then using a wooden spoon, mix together until it's paste-like. Hey, what do ghosts put on their cereal? What? Boo berries. <laughs> then we add oil and salt. Take it away, Dad. Now, Dad, I'm gonna have you add the second half of the flour and mix it together once again. I'll hold the bowl. Thank you. Okay, teamwork, teamwork, teamwork. Keep mixing until it becomes very thick and dough-like. I think we're there. Yeah, oh yeah, that looks good. You sprinkle the surface so our dough doesn't stick and we're gonna keep kneading with our hands until it's nice and smooth. Show me what you can do, Dad. Well, palms palm, pull back, pull back and twist. twist. Palms pull, pull back, back and twist. twist. <laughs> How's that? That's pretty good. That's really good. This looks so good. I want to eat it right now. Maybe I just have pizza for lunch. <sighs> the dough is looking good, and now mm -hmm. it's time for it to rest. Yes, it's going to take a little nap in this clean, large bowl we have over here. You want to drizzle in a little bit of oil, and I'm just using a little paper towel to spread the oil around. We don't want the dough to stick. Mm-mm. Papa Pizza, lift it in there. Boop. And you can see what he's doing. He's giving it a spin around so that while the dough rises, it won't stick anywhere. I feel like I should tell the dough like a little bedtime story or something. Take a clean kitchen towel and cover the top. We're tucking in our little dough. We're gonna put it off to the side and let it sit until it doubles in size. And while that's rising, what are we gonna do, Dad? Tell another joke. <laughs> oh my gosh! Dad, we're supposed to make the sauce. That's right. What do birds give out on Halloween? What? Tweets. <laughs> now, normally, we make a red sauce. Mm -hmm. But today, we're going to make a white sauce for our pizza. Yeah, we are. It's time to make the sauce. What are you going to do, Papa Pizza? First, we're going to add the flour, mm -hmm. the onion powder, Yeah. and the garlic powder. Which is perfect for Halloween, because that powder will keep away vampires. Ooh, give me some. OK, here's the. <laughs> <laughs> powder here that we're gonna whisk and get it all mixed up. Now take your dry ingredients, butter, milk, saucepan, and whisk over to the stove. Turn the heat to medium. Add your butter and let it completely melt. Whisk in the flour mixture and keep mixing it until it becomes a paste. While continuing to whisk, slowly pour in your milk. 
milk and keep whisking until it's nice and smooth. Cook for an additional two to three minutes, whisking occasionally until thickened. Turn off the heat and take your sauce back to your baking station. As you can see, the steam is still coming up. It's fresh, hot off the stove. And while it's still hot, you're gonna mix in your Parmesan cheese. So dad, I'm gonna pour this in while you whisk. We're gonna do teamwork, ready? I'm ready. Okay, we're sprinkle it in. Now we let that melt completely. Mm-hmm. Then add a little salt and pepper to taste. Here okay, let's are. taste. Mmm. Magnifique. You know how it's B-O-N? Bon Appetit, because it's Halloween. Bone, because like a skeleton bone. Or Boo Appetit, yes, like a ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boo Appetit, appetit. boo. All right, now our sauce is ready. We're gonna set it off to the side while we roll out our dough. I got the dough, remember it has been resting. We've gotta wake it up now, and hopefully it's doubled in size. <gasps> There we go, that's ready. Sprinkle the surface with a little bit of flour so that the dough won't stick. Okay, okay. You're ready, Dad? I'm gonna plop it out. This is my favorite part, I love this. Flop. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going. <laughs> it looks like slime. To make it a little bit easier to roll into a perfect circle, shape the dough into a ball, then use a rolling pin and roll it out. This is looking pretty good. Mm-hmm. The next step is to fold your dough in half. Oh. We're gonna put it on the pan. All right, let's do it. I'll move this. The pan has been lightly greased. Yes, so it won't stick. And just stretch it out to fit the pan. And don't worry if your dough isn't perfectly round. Use your fingers to push the dough to the edge of the pan. Last thing before we bake this is use a fork to poke holes. To prevent bubbles. We're creating some ventilation. Now our dough is ready for its first bake. Heat your oven to 450 degrees and bake for five minutes. The crust is done baking. Now it's time to assemble the pizza. And we're gonna be decorating with these toppings over here to look like candy corn. We just put a bunch of candy corns together in a circle and that's what our pizza is going to look like. And then when you cut a slice, it's gonna look like a cheesy, delicious little candy corn, huh, Dad? Mm -hmm. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Our sauce is still warm mm -hmm. and it's the first thing to go on. Spread it all around the pizza, leaving about an inch around the edges. And you don't want it too thick. Mm -mm. You want it to be a thin layer. Your, your sleeves are going in the sauce. Okay. Here, I got you, Dad. Here, you do that. We're good. We're good. I always get a little bit messy. Yeah, it's okay. Now we're ready for our cheese toppings. Starting with the bullseye, mozzarella. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just eyeball it, make a circle in the middle. Now we're gonna sprinkle some mild cheddar cheese around the mozzarella. Make it about an inch and a half to two inches wide. I'm hungry now. Me too. Last but not least, we'll add the sharp cheddar cheese. Yeah. Around the edge. It's time to bake for the second and final time. Put this in the oven, eight to 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Hey, we could eat candy corn while we wait. ta -da. Are you gonna do it with me? Yeah, ta-da! Ta and there you have it. Here's the three cheese pizza that we made today to look like candy corn. Once you cut it up, each slice looks like a little piece of candy corn. Mm -hmm. Also, a big thank you to Papa Pizza for helping me make this today. I had so much fun. Thanks for having me. Now can we take a bite? Yes, let's do a taste test. All right, here we go. Cheers! Mmm. Mmm. And each bite will taste a little bit different because of the different cheeses. I'll be posting lots of pictures and the recipe on rosannapanzino.com, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So you can check them out there. And if you guys have any other requests for any videos you'd like to see, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. All right. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye. And then, Dad, do you have any more jokes for me? I do. What? Why can't you tell a secret in the cornfield? Why? Too many years. <laughs> Ding!